Hello everyone, this video is about this uh, uh, FPV monitor. Uh, so first when I bought the, the first drone with the goggles, uh, I bought the, the clones of the Yachin uh, A100D. So with those uh, goggles the problem was that the lens was fixed and I had problems uh, to see clearly. I had to, to wear uh, glasses but uh, they don't fit uh, well in the, uh, in the goggles so uh, I decided to upgrade the, the goggles and with the old ones I made this uh, monitor um, the goggles are uh, like these ones I put the picture uh, in here uh, I don't have it the, the case of the goggles uh, anymore but uh, you can see the picture so I made this uh, uh, monitor uh, which works uh, very uh, very well at least for my needs uh, I designed and uh, 3d printed this uh, this case for uh, this uh, uh, monitor and uh, it works quite good the radio master uh, sticker in here I just uh, stick it on uh, the, the case uh, so let's uh, power uh, the monitor uh, let's power it up all right so by the way the, the buttons are uh, on the back I have the power button here, uh, the search button I believe it is, um, this one is the record button and here the, the channel and the, the band. Uh, I didn't uh, make uh, any markings in here because I know the, the buttons. Uh, the antennas are from uh, the Yachin uh, 100 EV goggles. Uh, yeah, so I have here some videos because this uh, this have uh, the DVR. So I have my uh, SD card in here. The here is the come on focus the USB uh, port and the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack uh, I forgot for uh, what uh, it is used I believe for audio or something like that or video output um, so I have some videos that I uh, take when I was in vacation, so let's play. Uh, I believe this one is. All right. So last, as you can see, it works uh, very good. I will demonstrate it with uh, one of my drones. I will uh, power up uh, one of, them, uh, of my drones and uh, see how it works. Okay, now let's see what I have inside. Um, how I mount it, everything. And uh, yeah, but first let's uh, power up the, the drone and see how it works. Alright, so. Uh, this is my uh, second drone that uh, I bought. 
uh, is the Raycon uh, 35. Uh, so I will uh, use this one to demonstrate how it works. Let's power it up and power the drone up. Alright, let's... Okay. So... As you can see, uh, it works great. Okay. I believe it's in the pit mode right now. The VTX is. Uh, limited to 25 milliwatts so this why I have this problem all right I will bring the transmitter and arm the, the drone everything works now so it was in the pit mode uh, If I press the, the button right now, it's in the pit mode. But now everything works as it should. As you can see, it has no problem with uh, the video signal. So <coughs> let's uh, open it up and see how I put everything together. All right, let's uh, remove the, the antennas. And now everything it should slide right off. All right. Okay. And everything it's uh, mounted like this this is the the front of the case this is the second version of this uh, front of the case first one i uh, made it straight in here but uh, the distance from the SD card and the USB port was too 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 big, and uh, uh, it was a problem when you want to to charge the the battery or uh, put uh, the SD card or remove it. Uh, it was something like uh, this size, about uh, five millimeters. So I made the second version with this uh, part closer to the to the board now it's easier to, to remove the SD card or to charge the, the battery and here I uh, design a spacer on which uh, we mount the, the board uh, and this spacer is glued with uh, 3M uh, uh, tape. Uh, it's glued to the display. The bit of the problem is that uh, this uh, ribbon cable you have to to put it uh, between the the spacer and the the board. So before we mount the board, we have to, to insert the ribbon cable to, to the board. And the battery is the, the battery which came with the, the goggles. It's a very uh, thin uh, battery. Uh, so, yeah. But let's remove this board and see uh, how I have mounted uh, the, the spacer and the battery. 
All right, guys, so let's remove the, the screws. I have to be a little bit careful because I don't want to, to do something with this board. This is the, the spacer. Here is the battery and the ribbon cable it's inserted in the in the board and then we put the board like this screw in uh, the, the screws and insert the battery cable and that's it so I don't have the like I said I don't have anymore the the case of from the old goggles but uh, I put the picture on the screen so you can have an idea what type of uh, goggles they are so if you want to make one uh, one monitor like this you can uh, uh, see the model because they came in different models and uh, some of them have the, the jack on the right or something like that and USB uh, port uh, on this side and the buttons here so of course the, the case will not match the, the buttons and uh, everything <coughs> So in case you have uh, uh, an FPV uh, goggles like this ones, you can do this uh, mode and uh, then you, you will have uh, a nice FPV monitor. Uh, Alright guys, I will put everything uh, back together and uh, of course uh, I will uh, leave links to uh, STL files. All right, guys, everything is back together. Uh, yeah, you will find uh, the link in the description to to the files. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you want. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.